So what happens if you have a you know a big amount of text, you know, like a, a essay or news of art or article? So in that there will be you know numbers of sentences. So many times we may need to split the text into sentences. Okay. So this is what uh, you know the first function is sentence under sent under spoke tokenize. So you can see from NLTK, we are importing this sent underscore uh, tokenize function and you are passing text. Okay. So it will just uh, give us, you know, send, split it into sentences. You can see, you know, this is a sentence, every, you know, so every uh, sentence is split into, or, you know, kept into uh, in these double quotes. Okay, this is another sentence. This is again a split into another sentence. Okay, and so on. So this is how it uh, gives you back you know, the, this function and you know, returns these sentences. Next is we want to split into word. So for this, here we are uh, writing a function for our future use. Okay, and function name we have kept here tokenization. Okay, so <clears throat> what, what we need to do this or tokenize is the function, uh, you know, function which is available in NLTK dot tokenize. Okay, so we call this or tokenize and uh, this function, my you know, tokenization function, this name is given by us, which will return, you know, the words or tokens from each sentence we will pass to it, all right? So <clears throat> this is the thing. Yeah? So if I run this, I am, you can see here, I'm sending the text, okay? So what is going to happen? It is returning, it is returning, you know, all the tokens available here, all right? So next thing, even uh, you know, we can take some uh, you know good text or uh, clean text if we have previously that will look better. Uh, so stop remove. Okay, so this is not text. New text. I think we had new text, right? Previously we had done it. Yeah. But uh, our new texts are you know, also not in good. Yeah, this is a good one. So I just uh, run this once, and I take this uh, new text and pass it uh, to the tokenizer, so that some clean text we can pass, you know, to the tokenizer, and we can see how it is uh, doing it. Okay, so yeah. Okay, so these are the tokens we have in our text. Okay. Next thing, what we are going to do. We want to just uh, see the words into it. So using text bulb option, we can see it. So there are actually different use of uh, text bulb. We will show later. Okay, I'm not uh, going to going into detail of it because we will find you know for spell correction this text bulb will help us. Okay. So if I just uh, move forward with spelling correction, so I have written a function called spell correction. What uh, we are sending here sentence, okay? And uh, see from text box, importing this text block, okay? The sentence equal to text box, we are sending sentence dot correct. So it is having a function for called correct it what it will do if there is some misspelled you know word in the sentence it will correct it okay and after doing the correction uh, it will you know, store it in the sentence and return the sentence okay so let's pass this new text okay so you can see the, you know some of the, you know, if there is almost you no know, wrong misspelled thing, okay? 
so yeah this is what it does does okay next come to the most important thing and one of the most important thing in nlp that is called stemming and lamitization they are basically different thing okay both are used to reduce how you know any word to its root form but uh, there is different technique they follow if it is a stemming method it uh, it is basically based on some kind of uh, you know reducing method that means it is having some uh, algorithm based thing that uh, okay ing is there remove ing uh, you know from the end or you know if uh, there is a there is you know set of uh, defined prefix and postfix which we used to add to the word to any word to change its form like uh, like madam you know, change a verb to present tense to present tense matra ek sath ji pata hai okay so if we do that uh, yeah so uh, stemming basically does based on algorithm okay so there is some steps to follow yes, uh, it uh, give you the result now what happens with stemming the result may not be a real word or dictionary word okay but with lamitization as it uh, sorry as it uh, follows or uh, uses a dictionary with it Okay, so always the result of a lamitization is real dictionary word. Okay, so this is the thing. Now, let's uh, take uh, some example for this. See, so there are uh, two things we are importing here. You can see one is Porter Stamer, another is. lancaster stemmer so there is two stemmer okay so what these two thing will do they will do stem okay so you know both the uh, you can see how both the uh, porter stemmer and lancaster uh, stemmer functions if i run it we have passed here see what cats okay and to the lancaster स्टेमर आल्सो यू हैव यू पास आपको आप कैसा समझ रहे हैं कैट आप इस बात को नोट कर लीजिएगा मेरा बड़ा भाई का जिस दिन शादी होगा उस दिन कल्लू कुमार कल्लू बिहार में कदम रखेगा ओके सो यू कैन सी हियर इन बोथ द केसेस you know cat so as a past and it is returning cat so yes it is just a remove but uh, trouble was a past to this you know porter stemmer so what it is uh, returning t r o u b l e is removed so you can see this is no more a um, dictionary word right so this is uh, what happens uh, with uh, stemmer okay so uh, there is another example you know if i uh, do stemming of our you know our uh, uh, tokens what tokens we have or words we have okay so what we will get you can see here u r f l i it is you can see it was flying right uh, so it now you can see as we, i have applied stemming the result is not a dictionary word anymore and so on we will find lots of uh, example you know uh, things happen to this okay then come to lamitization okay so the same thing uh, what will happen if we use lamitization to our tokens so for using lamitization you can see what we are doing we are just has downloading wordnet dictionary right So we are first downloading what wordnet and this okay now from text box we are 
importing OR. Next, what we are doing? Limitization function I am writing here. Huh? What we will pass? Sentence. Now, words equal to sentence are split. So, sentence will be split into a word. Then, lemma is, uh, you know, each sentence will, will be split, you know, again, give us lemmas for each word in the sentence. So, I'm taking an empty list, and that is called lemmas. So, for word in words, it is this lemma dot append or this, this, this word is this word, this capital W, you can see here, okay? Don't confuse with this. Or better, I write here only W so that uh, you will not get confused with the, sorry, these two words. Okay, password here. Okay, pass W here. Okay, so if I run this, you see what change you are getting. Okay, so there is something. Name W is not defined. All right. Sorry, some something I have. Uh, yeah, there is a mistake. Yeah. Or, or oh shit. Better I do here. Sorry, words. Right now for W in words. Ah, now it is okay. Okay, so these are the things I uh, let uh, add here print. Now, if you see what happened, this flying remained flying. It uh, in the in case of uh, stemming, it was uh, you know converted to FLI, which was not uh, giving any meaning. Okay, uh, which was basically not a dictionary word. Okay, but here it is becoming, it remains in a fly. So, you know, many of uh, us may have question that then why stemming is there when limit, limitization always gives, uh, you know, dictionary words. Reason is that when you're using uh, neural networks or deep learning models for, you know, we are doing what to make and all these things, then only this symbol matters okay if if it is fli for all the sentences that it is basically a substitution of flying by fli so it can happen okay so that is one thing uh, there is the no big deal of using and you know, stemming over lamitization or uh, that but another thing is there as lamitization uses dictionary, it always starts things in the dictionary, so it gets slower than doing stem. Okay, so okay, let's move forward. <laughs> Who said this? Okay, there is a question in the chat box. Without W defined, how are you getting answer? Who said? Uh, I'm, I'm not really using uh, defined W. So you can see here for W in words. So this is how we write for loop and for this, uh, this W need not to be defined. You know, in Python, if we write for loops, we can have a variable here, which will automatically defined and initiated, uh, you know, to uh, and some null value. Okay, so this is what happens in Python. So W is a, you know, you can say uh, iterator for the for loop. So we don't need to define it, all right? So previously, we, you know, by mistake, I had written W here. So it was searching, where is this W? Because this is supposed to be a list, right? So th that was the reason we had that uh, error. I think uh, I made your doubt clear. Okay, next, uh, POS tagging. Yesterday, you know, there was lots of discussion on POS, uh, okay? So uh, again, we need uh, this pang to be downloaded. We have already downloaded, so I'm just removing it. Uh, okay, and NLTK download what average punctuation tag. Okay, so this is uh, another tool available in NLTK. So we need to download this because we have not downloaded it previously. Okay, so it is downloaded to the system. Now we don't need. Uh, Uh, 
here we write what new text right okay new text so if i run this you can say it is uh, tagging all my you know parts of species or you can say all the words in my sentence you is a pronoun r is a verb or you can say bbp means the actual b verb okay flying is a verb and so on you can see okay next thing is uh, called chunking so what is chunking chunking is basically you can see when you have done uh, this uh, pos tagging it is simply tagged each word right but we, we always like the, in the when we use english language work on english language or any other language we like to see them as per the grammar or any, there are phrases basically you know, and we can define phrases like say the cat so there is no reason to you know always calculate the and cat separately uh, we can treat them in a single phrase right so that is called a noun phrase so chunking basically helps you do, to do that okay so just uh, take this okay so <clears throat> i don't need this nltk dot token so, uh, new text okay so print tokens so we will have the tokens here first then we are going to tag the tokens and then that post tag post tag is the function which tag your tokens now we are just uh, defining a noun phrase how some determine uh, determiner dt okay uh, that is the uh, a and the all this thing okay and uh, then some uh, i'm forgetting jj and uh, n for is noun okay so if we see Oh, so draw will not work here. Basically, if you are using your local computer, this part will work. Otherwise, this draw will not work. Okay, so let's inactivate this one. Okay, so you can see here you are flying. All these things are you know done by this uh, tags. It is print the tags here. Okay, then. Yeah, you can see these things are coming into uh, this manner. S means sentence. Basically, you know, uh, here you are seeing it uh, in this form, but it is supposed to be displayed in you know uh, in a tree form so that you will understand different phrases into you. Okay, so I'm not giving much time on to this. Uh, let's uh, move to more important thing for today okay so uh, there is some other uh, chunker i'm not going to do those things okay yeah this is uh, something important uh, you know i was telling you that this uh, text bulb is basically having many important function so this is another function called you know n-grams i think many of you know uh, know what, uh, what is n-gram okay so when we do context analysis, context analysis of uh, what? Of any text, right? So what, uh, what becomes important is your words are coming with what other words with it, right? So based on that, we define the context, right? So, uh, um, you, you can say that uh, this person is, uh, as good as uh, snake so good and snake is coming together so you can understand as will be removed by when, when you will do cleaning so good and snake will come together so how the context will be defined you know when you will do this you can see all the two words uh, on the consecutive words are combined together okay so it is called n gram so um, this n defines this number two okay if you put here three it will give you three gram okay you can see this okay so based on this your uh, you know, learner your model 
can uh, learn that uh, you know in what sequence uh, in the, you know in your document the words are appearing okay so the relation between different words it can learn next thing is that most important thing you are studying you know, uh, from last few days is uh, this one sorry 